Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now we have the lab 11 of Micron Embedded System in which we have to introduction to FGPA design software, very log programming, simulation and hardware implementation of combinational and basic Boolean logic and very log text bench using model sim simulation on tools on Cortex and FGPA. So in this lab we will see how to use the FGPA boards and how to programming in very log STL and uh, we will make a code of some basic boolean logics and a combinational logics so the objectives of this lab is implementation of arithmetic operators logical relational and these are these are our these all are our objectives of our this lab after this we have the some basic introduction of fgp and FGPA field programmable gate array is a user programmable logic device that can be configured to perform a variety of uh, complex logic operations. It is similar to the PLA studied in class but is much more powerful. So here you can see the internal diagram of FGPA programming in which you see that every block is connected to the other with a wiring. And these are all programmable interconnected. After this here, here is the hardware picture of uh, FGPA board and uh, after this we have this some basic information of FGPAs and now the, from this here starts the steps how you can create a new project in a Qualtest software so first of all you have to click the icon and open and after the you will see the new project screen here you have to click on the new project here you can see the next button after this in the in this uh, tab you can set the directory where you want to save the files and you can set the name of our, your project after this you have to select the device so that you have to simulate it on hardware that can be cyclone 2 or cyclone 5 whether whichever you have and this you have to select the programming that is very long sdl after this you have to click the finish and here you have to open your window for the writing the program to file click on file and new after this you have to select the very log sdl and then ok here and here the, similar to this screen appears and here you can write any code you can see and here you see that i have attached the screenshot of some basic logic gates and boolean expressions here written in the code and after this you have to press the control plus l for simulation and when the simulation completes for uh, generating the waveform you can click file and new and university program vwf after this this waveform screen appears here you have to insert the nodes so go to edit and insert node or bus then node finder here node finder will automatically find all the nodes in your code and then you have to click this and then ok and here you can see that now the waveforms appear for the inputs and here you can set the values of your inputs and when simulate then your output will appear like this so this is the final outputs of your inputs and outputs whether whichever output you have written in your code after this we have the first task of uh, this lab 11 in Verilog IDL in which we have to implementation of Verilog operators in Verilog SDL so you see that I have first ever I have declared the module the name of the project arithmetic test and the inputs and outputs all are declared here then I have declared the 4 bit in 2 inputs A and B and then we have the 5 four, 8 bit outputs that are C, D, E, F and G and after this we have the some basic arithmetic test that are multiply, divide, plus, minus and then the evaluates to one modulus then you can see that i have assigned c equals to a multiply b that simply multiplies the a multiply a and b and then assign d equals to a divided by b and plus and minus the simple arithmetic test after you you are see, can see the rtl view of this program and here you can see the waveform that i have generated using the inputs and outputs i have given the value of input a1100 and input b0011 and then the multiplication division addition subtraction of this is appear here you can see that the multiplication is 00100100 and you can easily convert this binary into decimal to check at your answers
After this, we have the task two of lab eleven, which we have to implement gate eleven on Verilog SDN. We have to apply simple gate on the very log SGL that will be and get or get not get X or get whatever you want here you can see that I have used the name the bitwise operator module name and then they create the inputs and outputs after which I have declared one input to two bit inputs a and four three inputs of four bit that are BC and D and then I declare the outputs X and Y and Z and then I said the X equals to bitwise negation of a assign y equals to or c x or c and then assign equals to d or b so this are this is my task 2 of lab 11 and embed systems here you can see the waveforms of my this program and you can easily verify them so this is our lab 11 of micro embedded systems thank you